The diagram above shows the sector OAB of a circle of radius R centimeters. The area of the sector is 15 centimeters squared and the angle AOB equals 1.5 radians. AOB, so this angle. Prove that the radius R equals 2 root 5. So we know the area of a sector equals a half r squared theta and that area is 15 so a half r squared theta equals 15 and I multiply both sides by 2 you get r squared theta equals 15 times 2 divide both sides by theta because we know what theta is r squared equals 15 times 2 divided by theta. Now to find r, we need to square root both sides. So that will be square root 15 times 2 over theta, a square root. And that it's plus or minus when you square root, but we cannot get a negative radius. So r will be square root of 30 over 1.5 and that would be square root of 30 over 3 over 2 as you can see 1.5 is 3 divided by 2 and that would be square root of 30 times 2 over 3 that would be well, 3 in 30, so that will be 10. 10 times 2 is 20. So R will be square root of 20. And square root of 20 is root 4 times 5. That's what we, root 20 will be, which will be root 4 times root of 5. And R will be root of 4 is 2. And root of 5 is root 5. And that's what R is. And that's what we've been we're meant to prove. Just to remind you what I did here, uh, if you have 30 over 3 over 2, that can be written as 30 times 1 over 3 over 1 times over 2. You can see. 1 over 1 over 2 is 2 and therefore I get 30 times 2 over 3 and that's how I got the this one here so 1 over 1 over something is something so if that was 4 here it would be 4 there always remember that that's very important when you're doing um, Dividing a fraction. Find in centimeter the perimeter of the sector OAB. Well, we now know what the radius is, which is 2 root 5. And to find the perimeter of the sector, we need to find the arc AB. We know what the angle is for the sector, it's 1.5 radians. So to find the arc here, we need to say, well, the arc L is R theta. If you can't remember that formula for arc length, always remember 2 pi R for circumference of a circle divided by the angle of the circle, which is 2 pi. Uh, that should be equal to the arc of sector divided by the angle of sector. 2 pi cancels 2 pi, therefore multiply both sides by theta, you're going to get L equals R theta. So that's how you get the formula. You don't need to memorize it, just the ratio of the actual circle to the sector we do it. And then what you need to do now is plug in those values for the arc length here. This one will be 2 root of 5 times 
which can be uh, 2 root of 5 times 3 over 2. 2 cancel 2, and that is 3 root of 5. So that's what the arc length is. Uh, because 3 over 2 is 1.5. So now we know that that is 3 root 5. Now to add them all up, perimeter will be perimeter will be 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 will be 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, so that will be 7 root 5. Uh, because they ask you to calculate that in centimeter, you could do 7 times root 5, 7 times root of 5 uh, in decimal, which will be 15.65 centimeters and that will be in or you could say 15.7 centimeters to three significant figures and that's the perimeter And that's the answer we're looking for. This segment R, this one is the segment now. Shaded in the diagram above is enclosed by the arc AB and the straight line AB. C calculates to three decimal places the area of the R. So we just need to find the area of the sector and the area of the triangle. Take it away from the sector, you get the area of R. We already know the area of the sector, so area of the sector equals 15 centimeters squared. We just need to find the area of the triangle. Uh, to find the area of the triangle, we know that the angle here is 1.5 in radians, and we know the radius, so the area of the triangle, so triangle area equals a half r squared sine theta because the the r are the same the radius are the same here so that would be 2 root 5 all squared over 2 sine 1.5 radians Again, you need to uh, have your calculator on radians, uh, and then you'll be able to work this out. Check your top of your screen. If it's not R, then you need to convert it to radians by going to Shift, Shift on the calculator, then you press Menu, and then you press 2 for Angle Unit, and then you press 2 for Radians. Then if you look on top of your of the screen, your calculator, you'll see R. That means it's ready for calculation in radians. So we've got 2 squared. So 2 squared is 4. And root 5 squared is 5. So that's 5. Over 2 sine 1.5. And that will be, well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2 times 5 sine 1.5 in radians and and that would be 10 sine 1.5 in radians so if you plug that in into your calculator so 10 times sine 1.5 in radians so that would be 9.975 centimeter squared so the segment area will be equal to 15 minus 9.975 so that would be 5.025 
centimeters squared to three decimal places. So that's what we're looking for. Thank you.